All right, guys, so now that we've got this ready, uh, usually you'd go to the motors, but there's plenty of wire here that we need to do uh, to get on this um, controller here. And so let's look at our uh, let's look at our VTX first, and there's a book, that, a pamphlet that comes with it as well, which right now I really don't need it. Uh, I, I just want to see, actually, yeah. So if you look at this picture right here, here's our VTX, and what it's telling you is it's got video and ground, 5-volt RX ground, and 20, right? 7 to 26. Okay, so let's look at these. From the bottom up, you have 7 to 26. That is going to be your input power. So what you're going to do is we're going to take that, and we're going to put it right to our LiPo, uh, that, that plus right next to where we put the XT30. We're going to use the plus the VTX in the middle and the ground. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the seven to 26 volt and put that in the plus. We're gonna take that ground and we're gonna put that in the ground next to it. We're gonna take the RX and we're gonna go to TX3 on the top of the board, all right? And we're gonna take a uh, video here. And that video is gonna go to our VTX right there, which means the next two wires, if you look at this wire harness right here, okay? You will use, this should go in just like, just like this, here we go. Okay, so we are gonna use the first, the, the red and the black on the bottom here, okay? We're gonna use the white. We're not gonna use the next red and black, we're only gonna use the yellow. So from the bottom to the top, it's red, black, white, yellow. We're gonna skip these other two, so we're gonna pull those out, okay? So what I want you to do when you pull them out is do this, and I'll put this on the microscope so you can see it. Okay, so bear with me here. And let me see if I can focus just a little bit. Okay, hold on. Where's my focus? Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to take out the black and the red that's next to the yellow, right? So I'm going to take a, my X-Acto knife, and you take whatever you've got that's sharp, and here's what you want to do, right? You want to take this here, leave it just like that, and you want to, don't lift up this tab because this is holding the yellow in. Go to the one next to it, next to the yellow, and lift that up gently. That's going to be, be your black wire. So once you lift that up, if you grab, grab that black wire right there, let me see if I can get it, and you pull it out, it's going to come out just like that, okay? Now, go back and push that tab down, okay? Now go to the next one, which is going to be for the red wire. Lift that up gently. Okay, and that might be enough there. Then grab the red wire and pull that out. And just put that tab back down. So when you're done, your wire should look like this. Uh, there, okay, so you have red, black, white, two spaces and a yellow, and you're ready to go. So now, once you get that ready, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start, we're gonna solder these. As far as making the wire length, well, let's see. This is going to sit like this, and this is going to go right here. So I think it would be safe to say, let me look, let me look. These three are going, black, red, and yellow are going to the back over here. Okay. So we can wind those up. All right. And then white is going to go all the way over to here. So based on the length, I would say that if you cut them all to whatever I have right here, so hold on, let's measure this out. I think that you'd be safe cutting all of these to about 40 mil as well. So let's use 40 mil as the standard here. Let's cut that. You can save the rest of the wire. You may need it down the road. I'm gonna use it for the uh, receiver that I'm gonna be installing. Okay, now we can, now we can look set this aside let's go ahead and strip these wires and tin them and solder them to the board so that our vtx will be done so to strip these wires you're only going to want you're only going to end up using about one millimeter of wire length but to get a grip on the wire you can strip about two millimeters so, and i'll show you so that's one two three and let's do all four wires okay and then apply your flux and this gives you, by having it a little bit longer, it gives you a little bit of uh, grip on it when you want to spin it. So hold, I don't know if you're left-handed or right-handed, but hold, this, hold the strands with, one, with the two fingers and spin the silicone uh, wire, the outer wiring, okay, the sheath. So hold this one, spin, and then that'll get you a pretty good tight, um, uh, get the strands really tight wound up there. All right, which one didn't I do? 
I don't know, I can't remember. I'll do the, check the black now. Okay, so they're all spun up. Uh, let me see the black here. I think I may have missed one. And I'm gonna, let me show you real quickly. So let's go here and I'll show you that you can see now, I'm just, there. And I got one, I got a little straggler there on the black one. So I'm gonna go back and fix that real quick. But basically what we wanna do is just get those spun up before we tin them. Okay, now for this one, I will use my helping hands. It's a pretty small area, so might as well. And I think if I lay this out right, I can do all four wires uh, without having to do much else. So let's just go ahead and lay that out, spread these out, and come at them with the solder. That's one. Two, three, and four. All right. Now, these wires are ready, but they're too long, right? So to show you that they're too long, this is what you do. You just take your flight controller, and let me bring that over. Okay, let me get this in focus. All right, so let's just get an idea. To keep this clean, we're gonna, come, we're gonna solder from the inside not gonna, we're not going to solder on the outside of the board. Uh, let me see where I'm at here. We're not going to come in like this, right, from the outside because everything's on the inside. So let's say, for example, we're going to be putting in this white wire, which is going to our TX3, right? So let me show you what that would look like. So where's TX3? There it is. Okay. So we're coming in like this. Let me get my finger out of the way. Okay. It's a little bit long. We don't need it to be that long. So we're just going to trim these back, but it's actually not too bad. So just make sure that when you do your wires, um, actually all of these are, are pretty good length. Uh, I could leave them like this right here. And because the red and the black are gonna go back here along with the, along with the VTX, okay? So I'm gonna try to solder this un under the uh, uh, microscope so you can see what I'm doing here. If it moves a little bit, I apologize. There's nothing holding this board in place. So I have to do this while still fitting this. Okay, see how that's kind of long though? I'm gonna trim that back just a little bit. I don't need that much wire hanging off. So, and I'm gonna do that same for the black one. So just, all you wanna do is have enough wire, just get to the pad. So now let's see when I bring that red in here. Trying to solder on this thing is not that easy, but there you go. So now you can see it goes in there properly. Let me hold that there real quick, and it's gonna be a very quick, and there you go, we're on. Uh, let me make sure I'm on there good. Yeah, that's on good, okay? So there's that one. And then the VTX is the yellow one. So let's go ahead and make sure that that one is good. It's a little long, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do the black one. Sorry guys, trying to do this under the microscope again. It's a little bit harder because I can't get the grip I want on everything. Let's just see if I can get that, okay? All right, so let's hold that in place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me separate those real quick. Okay, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm at here. Uh, I guess I can put them on if I need to, but that's fine. Let me just go back and put my video back on. by. Doing that and crossing it over, I accidentally touched the video when it let go. All right, so let's see. Am I bridging these now? Not the best here. Um, I should have put my glasses on, uh, but uh, I'm going to try to clean this up real quick. So let me just let me just clean that ground up a little bit. I'm going to remove it. I don't like anything that looks sloppy. And if I can't see it again, I'll put my glasses on for you, I promise. So let me see where I'm at. There we go, right here, right? Yep. Okay, there's that. Perfect. All right, so we've got the three on here that we need. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I, I will put my glasses on the next time. Um, so those are done. Everything is done here. We've got our ground, got everything set. I'll put some silicone on there just to hold it, make sure everything's in place. Those are on there pretty solid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our TX3. That's our smart audio. Let me take the tweezers. I think I can do this one without my glasses, but we'll see. I'm trying not to spend too much time under those glasses because my eyes get real lazy. Uh, it's a little long there. I'm going to trim that back just a tad. There, that 
that should be good. All right, on the TX3 right there. Good. All right, so we've got our TX3 on as well. Okay, so that's it for the VTX for right now because these wires are basically going to go right to here. And if you remember correctly, let me let me get back to our table now. So if you remember correctly, this VTX, where did I put it? Here. So this VTX is going to sit. Well, I actually had it like that, but there's plenty of ways to go. But this VTX could sit like this, and then these wires will go right here. And you've got plenty of wire, but you've got it wound up. You know, we could twist them up, which is what we're going to do, so that it's not all over the place. And that'll sit on there. So the VTX is done, guys. So you set that VTX aside. We're not going to install it yet. Take these extra wires that you have, wind them up, and save them. There's good wiring here that you can use for your receiver or whatever. Clean up the rest of your table. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to wire our camera next, and then we're going to come back and wire our receiver. So I'll be right back to do the camera.